Have you ever felt like you're on the brink of something incredible, but you're not quite sure what it is? Maybe it's a life shift that can only come from divine revelation? In this video, you're about to uncover spiritual secrets that could transform your destiny forever. Imagine unlocking God's perfect plan for your life, learning how to discern His voice in moments of doubt, and aligning your decisions with His will, bringing you peace, blessings, and purpose. Stay with us until the end, and discover how faith and obedience can be the keys to unlocking a future beyond your wildest dreams. If you're seeking clarity, a deeper connection with God, and a path guided by the power of prayer, this video is for you. I guarantee that each word will resonate deeply in your heart and bring you new revelations. Are you ready to start this spiritual journey? Don't miss a second, because what's coming could change your life. How to discern the voice of God in moments of doubt. In the midst of life's uncertainties, it can sometimes be difficult to clearly discern the voice of God. With so many distractions, conflicting thoughts, and external influences, knowing if God is speaking to us can feel overwhelming. However, God promises that His sheep know His voice, John 10 verse 27. Learning to recognize it requires us to deepen our relationship with Him and remain attentive to His guidance, especially during times of doubt. When doubts arise, it's essential to remember that God is not the author of confusion. In 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33, the Bible tells us, For God is not a God of confusion but of peace. If you're feeling anxious or lost, it's important to pause and seek His peace. God often speaks through a sense of calm, guiding us gently toward His will. His voice brings clarity, not confusion. One way to discern God's voice is by aligning what you hear with His word. God will never contradict the Bible. If a thought or direction seems contrary to the teachings of Scripture, it's a clear sign that it is not from Him. Spending time in the Word strengthens your ability to recognize when God is speaking because His voice will always reflect His character and truth. Prayer is another crucial aspect of discerning God's voice. In moments of doubt, we should draw near to Him in prayer, asking for wisdom and discernment. James 1 verse 5 reminds us, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. When we seek God earnestly, he provides the wisdom we need to make the right decisions. God often speaks through the still, small voice of the Holy Spirit. It's not always a booming voice or an obvious sign. In 1 Kings 19 verse 12, we see how God spoke to Elijah not through the wind, earthquake, or fire, but in a gentle whisper. In moments of doubt, we need to quiet our minds and hearts, creating space to hear the subtle promptings of the Spirit. Another way God speaks is through circumstances. Sometimes, God orchestrates events or opens doors that point us in the direction He wants us to go. While not every circumstance is a direct sign from God, paying attention to patterns or situations that align with Scripture can help us discern His leading. God also speaks through other people. He may use wise counsel, pastors, or trusted friends to confirm what He has already been telling you. Proverbs 11 verse 14 says, Where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors there is safety. Seeking godly advice can provide clarity during times of uncertainty. Discerning God's voice also requires patience. It's easy to become impatient and rush decisions when we're unsure of the way forward. However, Isaiah 40 verse 31 encourages us, But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Sometimes, Waiting on God is the answer, allowing Him to reveal His will in His perfect timing. During moments of doubt, it's crucial to guard against fear. Fear often clouds our ability to hear God's voice. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 reminds us, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. When you feel overwhelmed by doubt or fear, remember that God's voice will always lead you to peace and strength, not to panic. Another important factor is obedience. Once we feel that God is speaking to us, we must take the step of faith and act on His guidance, even if we don't have all the answers. Obedience, even in uncertainty, shows our trust in God and allows Him to continue guiding us on the right path. God often speaks through repeated messages. If you keep encountering the same scripture, idea, or theme in various places, during prayer, through a sermon, or a conversation, 
It may be God's way of getting your attention. Pay close attention to those moments and ask God for confirmation if needed. When discerning God's voice, it's important to remove distractions. In our busy world, it's easy to get caught up in the noise. Setting aside quiet time to meditate, pray, and listen is essential. In these moments of stillness, God often reveals His direction with greater clarity. Additionally, God can use dreams and visions to communicate with us. While this isn't the most common way God speaks, it's important to be open to all the ways He may choose to communicate. If you believe God is speaking to you in this way, pray for discernment and seek confirmation through scripture and wise counsel. Ultimately, discerning God's voice takes practice and spiritual maturity. The more time we spend in His presence, the more attuned we become to recognizing His leading. Just like in any relationship, the more we know someone, the more easily we recognize their voice. The same is true with God. In moments of doubt, take comfort in knowing that God is always near, eager to guide and direct you. His voice will bring peace, wisdom, and clarity as you continue to seek Him with all your heart. If this message is helping you better understand how to hear from God, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share this with someone who needs encouragement. Transforming Your Destiny Through Faith and Obedience Faith and obedience are two of the most powerful keys to unlocking the destiny God has prepared for each of us. Throughout the Bible, we see countless examples of individuals who transformed their lives and fulfilled their divine purpose by trusting in God's plan and stepping out in obedience, even when the path ahead was unclear. Faith is more than just believing. It's an act of trust in God that moves us to action. In Hebrews 11 verse 1, the Bible defines faith as the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith isn't just a feeling. It's the assurance that God's promises are true, even when we don't see them yet. When we live by faith, we trust God to guide us, even through the unknown. Faith allows us to see beyond our current circumstances and believe in the greater destiny God has for us. Obedience, on the other hand, is our response to that faith. It's not enough to believe in God's plan. We must also follow His instructions. Obedience often requires stepping out of our comfort zone and trusting God with the details. When we act in obedience, we align ourselves with God's will, opening the door for Him to work in our lives in miraculous ways. One of the most powerful examples of faith and obedience in the Bible is the story of Abraham. In Genesis 12 verses 1 to 4, God called Abraham to leave everything he knew, his homeland, his family, and his security, to follow God to an unknown land. Abraham had no idea where God was leading him, but he obeyed. Because of his faith and obedience, God blessed him and made him the father of many nations. Faith also allows us to see challenges as opportunities for growth. When we trust God, we understand that even in difficult seasons, he is at work behind the scenes, orchestrating everything for our good. Romans 8 verse 28 reminds us, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Obedience in difficult times strengthens our faith and prepares us for the greater things God has in store. There will be times when obedience doesn't make sense from a human perspective. God may ask us to take a step of faith that seems illogical or risky, but it is in these moments that our obedience truly tests our trust in God. When Peter walked on water, Matthew 14 verses 28 to 29, it didn't make sense. But because he trusted Jesus and obeyed his command to come, Peter experienced a miracle. Similarly, when we trust and obey, God can perform the impossible in our lives. Obedience is often about surrender. It's about letting go of our own plans, desires, and timelines and trusting that God's way is better. Surrendering to God's will may feel challenging at times, but it's the pathway to peace, joy, and fulfillment. As we surrender, we allow God to shape our destiny according to His perfect plan. Another key aspect of obedience is persistence. Sometimes, we obey God but don't see immediate results. It's tempting to give up, but God calls us to remain steadfast in our obedience. Galatians 6 verse 9 encourages us, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Trusting God's timing is an important part of transforming our destiny. Faith and obedience also work together to build spiritual resilience. When we face trials, 
It's our faith that sustains us and our obedience that keeps us moving forward. God uses these moments to strengthen our character and prepare us for the blessings ahead. James 1 verses 2 to 4 tells us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Another aspect of transforming our destiny through faith and obedience is being open to God's redirection. Sometimes, God's plan for our lives may involve changing course. This can be uncomfortable, but when we are sensitive to His voice and obedient to His promptings, we position ourselves to receive His best. The Apostle Paul's journey in Acts 16 verses 6 to 10 is a great example. God redirected Paul's missionary journey, leading him to a new and fruitful opportunity in Macedonia. When we walk in faith and obedience, we also influence the lives of others. Our actions and decisions have a ripple effect. Just as Abraham's obedience brought blessings to future generations, our obedience can impact those around us, family, friends, and even people we may never meet. By living out our faith, we become a testimony of God's goodness and a beacon of hope for others. Faith and obedience often lead to divine favor. When we align ourselves with God's will, we step into a place where God's blessings flow abundantly. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 teaches us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. As we trust and obey, we experience God's supernatural favor in every area of our lives. Finally, faith and obedience bring us closer to God. The more we trust Him and follow His guidance, the deeper our relationship with Him grows. As we experience His faithfulness time and time again, our confidence in His plan strengthens, and we learn to rely on Him more fully. If these insights on faith and obedience are resonating with you, make sure to hit the like button, share this message with others, and subscribe to the channel for more inspiring content. The Power of Prayer – Aligning Yourself with God's Will Prayer is one of the most powerful tools we have as believers. It's through prayer that we connect directly with God, align our hearts with His will, and invite His power to work in our lives. Prayer is not just about asking for things. It's about building a relationship with God, seeking His guidance, and aligning ourselves with the plan He has for us. In Matthew 6 verses 9 to 13, Jesus teaches us how to pray through the Lord's Prayer. This prayer emphasizes the importance of submitting to God's will. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Prayer is about seeking God's will above our own. When we pray, we are not trying to change God's mind, but rather, to allow Him to change our hearts, guiding us to the path He has prepared. Prayer helps us to focus on God's priorities instead of our own. When we pray with the intention of aligning with His will, we begin to see situations from His perspective. Instead of praying for what we think we need, we ask God to lead us toward what He knows is best for us. As we grow in prayer, we learn to trust that God's plans for us are better than anything we could ask or imagine. Another key aspect of prayer is that it gives us strength in difficult times. When we are faced with challenges, doubts, or obstacles, prayer empowers us to keep moving forward. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 reminds us to not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Through prayer, God gives us peace and the strength to endure hardships. Prayer also allows us to seek wisdom. James 1 verse 5 promises that if we lack wisdom, we can ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault. When we are unsure of the next step, prayer opens the door for God to provide clarity and direction. By aligning ourselves with His wisdom, we avoid the pitfalls of relying solely on our limited understanding. One of the most beautiful aspects of prayer is that it creates intimacy with God. The more time we spend in prayer, the more we grow in our relationship with Him. Just like any relationship, communication is key. Through prayer, we share our hearts with God, and He reveals His heart to us. This deepens our connection with Him and helps us understand His will for our lives. Prayer also has the power to transform our desires. As we continue to pray, God shapes our hearts to desire what He desires. Our prayers become less about asking for material things and more about seeking His presence, 
his wisdom, and his direction. Psalm 37 verse 4 encourages us, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. When we delight in God through prayer, he aligns our desires with his purpose. It's important to remember that prayer is not just a one-way conversation. God speaks to us through prayer as well. Whether it's through the still, small voice of the Holy Spirit, through scripture, or through circumstances, God responds to our prayers in various ways. We must be attentive and open to hearing his voice in response to our petitions. Persistent prayer is also essential. Sometimes, we pray for something, and the answer doesn't come right away. This doesn't mean God isn't listening. Jesus tells us in Luke 18 verse 1 to always pray and not give up. Persistent prayer shows our faith and dependence on God. It keeps us connected to Him, even when the answers seem delayed. Prayer is also a powerful weapon in spiritual warfare. Ephesians 6 verse 18 instructs us to pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. When we pray, we invite God's protection, wisdom, and strength into the battles we face. Whether we are dealing with personal struggles or praying for others, prayer has the power to break strongholds and bring about victory in Jesus' name. Another vital aspect of prayer is intercession. When we pray for others, we stand in the gap, bringing their needs before God. This selfless act not only blesses those we pray for, but it also strengthens our own faith. 1 Timothy 2 verse 1 urges us to offer petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving for all people. Prayer has the power to change lives, heal relationships, and bring about transformation in ways we can't even imagine. Prayer is also a way to express gratitude. We often come to God with requests, but it's equally important to thank Him for the blessings He has already given. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have and aligns our hearts with a spirit of thanksgiving. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 encourages us to rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Finally, prayer builds our faith. The more we pray and see God answer, the stronger our faith becomes. Even when the answer isn't what we expected, prayer helps us trust that God is in control and working all things for our good. Each answered prayer becomes a testimony of God's faithfulness, encouraging us to keep trusting Him in every area of our lives. If you found this message on prayer to be helpful and inspiring, don't forget to share this video, leave a comment with your prayer requests, and subscribe for more uplifting content. The Role of Obedience – Aligning Yourself with God's Will Obedience is a cornerstone of the Christian faith and an essential aspect of aligning ourselves with God's will. It is through obedience that we demonstrate our trust in God's plans and allow Him to guide us on the path He has laid out. True obedience requires faith, surrender, and a willingness to follow God's commands, even when they challenge our comfort zones or require sacrifices. The Bible is filled with examples of individuals who experienced incredible blessings through obedience. One of the most well-known stories is that of Abraham, who was called by God to leave his home and venture into an unknown land, Genesis 12 verse 1. Abraham's obedience, despite the uncertainty and risks, opened the door to God's covenant promises. He became the father of nations because he trusted God's voice and followed his lead without hesitation. Obedience is not always easy. It often requires us to surrender our own desires, plans, and understanding in favor of God's higher purpose. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 reminds us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Obedience is an act of faith, believing that God's way is always better, even when we cannot see the outcome. When we choose obedience, we align ourselves with God's protection and provision. Throughout the Bible, we see that when God's people obeyed Him, they experienced His supernatural protection and blessings. Take Noah, for example. His obedience in building the ark, even when others mocked him, saved his family and preserved humanity. Noah trusted God's instructions, even though it seemed illogical at the time. Obedience also brings us closer to God. Jesus said in John 14 verse 23, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Obedience is an expression of our love for God. The more we obey His Word, the deeper our relationship with Him grows. 
Through obedience, we demonstrate that we value his commands and trust in his wisdom. One of the greatest acts of obedience was shown by Jesus himself. In Philippians 2 verse 8, it says that Jesus humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Jesus' obedience to the Father's will, even to the point of sacrificing his life, paved the way for our salvation. His perfect obedience is the ultimate example for us to follow, reminding us that sometimes obedience requires sacrifice, but it always leads to eternal reward. Another benefit of obedience is the peace it brings. When we follow God's instructions, we can rest assured that we are walking in His will. Obedience removes the burden of trying to control every situation or figure out everything on our own. It allows us to trust God's perfect plan and find peace in knowing that He is in control, even when we face uncertainty or challenges. Obedience often involves small, daily decisions. It's not just about the big, life-changing moments. It's about choosing to follow God in the everyday actions, words, and thoughts. Luke 16 verse 10 reminds us, Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. When we are faithful in obeying God in the little things, He entrusts us with greater responsibilities and blessings. At times, obedience may seem difficult or even impossible, but God never calls us to obey without also giving us the strength to do so. Philippians 4 verse 13 encourages us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we are equipped to obey God's commands, no matter how challenging they may seem. Obedience also sets us apart as followers of Christ. In a world that often values self-reliance and independence, choosing to obey God makes a powerful statement about our faith. Our obedience serves as a testimony to others of the transformative power of following God's will. People around us will notice the peace, purpose, and blessings that come from living a life of obedience to God. It's important to remember that obedience is not about legalism or trying to earn God's favor. We don't obey God to win His love. He already loves us unconditionally. Instead, we obey because we trust that His commands are for our good and because we want to honor the relationship we have with Him. Obedience is a response to the grace and love He has already extended to us. In moments when obedience feels especially difficult, we can find comfort in knowing that God sees our faithfulness and rewards those who obey Him. Hebrews 11 verse 6 reminds us that, without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Every act of obedience is a step toward experiencing the fullness of God's blessings and promises. One of the most powerful aspects of obedience is that it not only impacts our lives but also the lives of those around us. When we obey God, we become a vessel for His work to flow through. Our obedience can lead to the salvation, healing, and blessing of others, just as Jesus' obedience brought salvation to the world. As you've seen, God's plan for your life is filled with purpose, peace, and incredible blessings. When you align yourself with His will through faith, obedience, and prayer, you open the door to a future beyond anything you could imagine. Don't let this moment pass. Let God guide your steps today. If this message has touched your heart, don't leave without subscribing. Share this video with those who need encouragement, and let's walk this journey of faith together. Your breakthrough is just around the corner.